Well, I've decided to put on the top and the top molding now, uh, so I need to uh, put an edge onto the uh, uh, top, and uh, looks like we have a fillet and an OG <coughs> and a round over from the bottom. So um, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take a look and see if I've got some router bits, otherwise uh, it's going to be hollows and rounds. Well, I've already uh, put the edge on the top and I forgot to film it while I was doing it so I'll show you what I did. I've got an OG bit here that uh, has a fillet on the bottom but the total size of it and the shape aren't right so what I did I guess we could do it with uh, this edge here something like that Of course I had all my gear on when I was doing it. So we'll zoom in here a little bit so you can see what we got. <coughs> so as you can see we got our little fillet on the top and then the beginning of an OG that comes down here and it starts just starts to curve over. So now we've got to put a quarter inch round over on this edge and this edge to bring it up. So here's the quarter inch round over that's uh, set to put the uh, round over on the bottom. So there's the, <clears throat> the round over on the bottom. Now we have to put it on the top here. So we just turn it over, raise the bit, and uh, put the round over on the other side. And when you get finished, you get this. <clears throat> so we got our fillet with the OG and then the uh, round over on the edge. And, and that matches uh, the drawing uh, almost identically. So we could have done it with hollows and rounds but uh, I had the bits so I thought I'd do it and it's a straight edge so uh, you just do it on the three sides. So here's the top. Uh, sorry I didn't uh, video it when I was making it but uh, you saw how I put the edge on it in the video that immediately preceded this. So what I did is I took a, a piece of uh, 20 inch wide uh, mahogany and uh, this, I selected this piece first and cut it off and uh, put it aside and it, so it's been sitting around since then. So I had the piece for the top. I flattened it and uh, it's 7 eighths of an inch thick and it has uh, this edge on three sides needs to be cleaned up yet. I've done a little little sanding on the edges but once I got it flat it, this is the better side of the of the two sides that there uh, we've got so um, that's pretty much it. This uh, next video will show you how we're gonna mount it which is uh, fairly complicated. Well I uh, positioned the uh, top now onto the uh, bureau and uh, from a left to right basis it's in the correct position but uh, Townsend used uh, butterfly keys to uh, fasten the top to the uh, under top we'll zoom in here a little bit in the back uh, he glued it, according to what I've read in the books, uh, he glued it in the front. Uh, I probably will put screws in it 
and uh, then I will make the butterfly keys in the back here so these I'll have to cut the keyways um, for this shape three inches uh, into each of these two pieces and then make the the butterflies and uh, whack them in there uh, they should be a nice tight fit but that'll allow the the back of the uh, the top to uh, expand and contract with the uh, changing of the seasons Chopping out the long dovetails for the butterfly keys. To make the butterflies uh, wasn't all that uh, difficult. Uh, what I have here is a, a block of wood that is exactly uh, thick, the thickness that I want for the butterflies to go into the opening. And then uh, by measuring uh, the opening, uh, I was able to uh, make a test one here that uh, fit correctly. But uh, to repeat the processes, it wasn't all that difficult. Just a matter of putting the uh, pattern onto the, uh, the block of wood and making sure that the uh, widest part is exactly what, what you want in the widest part of the, um, the dovetail. They were made uh, equal parts, so where it comes to uh, the middle is exactly halfway through the block. I set the blade height and the blade uh, tilt when I had it uh, to my uh, dovetail from uh, cutting about onto the top. So that was all set. So then it's just a matter of running it, uh, marking it on the saw here to the uh, correct direction and run it run it through here once and it cuts half halfway through and then you turn it over and you cut halfway through on the other side uh, I do this side do this side first and then do this side second because it uh, falls off so uh, one time you have to do it this way and the other time you have to do it this way but uh, as long as you keep it straight and at 90 degrees these end up being nice and straight uh, along along there and uh, I didn't do any cleanup uh, on this one and it just uh, fit right in so that's uh, how I made them so I've uh, glued in the uh, butterflies here and there's just glue in the uh, bottom half here of the two they'll be cut off uh, flush here when the uh, top is actually mounted uh, so the uh, this allows the groove that uh, this one slides in is deeper which would allow uh, the uh, top to expand backwards uh, when when the humidity is high and um, of course the top can be removed at any time by pushing it uh, forward uh, but there will of course be screws in the front
Well, I'm uh, hand holding the camera today, so uh, it'll be bouncing around. I mounted the top today, and uh, as you can see, it's up there and it's nice and flat. And um, we've got it held in by screws. Get to see in here in the front. There's one. So there's some screws in the front. And uh, in the back, we've got the uh, butterfly keys that uh, Townsend uh, used to hold it down and allow for expansion. So that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good fit. And the reason I did that was, of course, I'm working on starting to work on the molding here. And you want when I do mount the molding, I want it to fit correctly up underneath that top. So. That's it for now.